Alex Gon and Jihoon. Okay. Oh. Let's talk about them as friends first, okay? So I am so happy for this episode because it allowed me to know Juhan as a person. And he did so many little things. Number one, when um, they went to meet Mad Clown, oh, I was gonna skip that part because... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just can't stand Mad Clown after what he said about God, okay? It's gonna, it's gonna be a while, like... Mad Clown needs to take a seat, okay? And he said it again, and I'm like, <laughs> immediately he said it again, he's like, go on, your, and your rap style is old fashioned. So I'm like, you need to take several seats. No, you need to take all the seats in the Staples Center, okay? I was so mad. <laughs> anyway, I was so mad when they went to go meet Mad Clown, and I'm like, why are you going to meet him for? But, in such shows, okay, when you go to such, when you're on survival shows, it's good to hear what the judge that criticizes you says is the reason that he's criticizing you that way so you can walk on it. But to me, he didn't even give any, like, great advice on how to walk on it or anything. I just, let's just forget my cloud existed, okay? Let's, let's, let's do it like that, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, so they met my clown and my clown had to go on all his old fashioned whatever, right? And when he was done saying all that, Juhan said something to go on. He's like, you know what? I've known you for a really long time and I've never ever looked at you as a rapper that has an old traditional style of rapping. But when my clown said it now, you're shaking. And I'm like, boo, this is it because you shouldn't be shaking because of what my pal says. Like, dude, even I, like Juhan said, like, he has always seen this dude as a good rapper. He doesn't see him as a rapper that raps in an old school style. So why the heck are you shaking suddenly because of what one person said? Why are you letting one person dictate how you should feel and stuff so i really liked when juhan said that and i'm like oh boo i really love you and then at the end with the whole kwan situation when juhan did something again i'm gonna show you a clip and then talk about it later but i really really love that so um we found out that juhan and gon are best friends and they were so cute together and i loved seeing them together and i just loved seeing like the back um, behind the scenes, not them being on stage because it allowed me to know a little bit more about Juhon and I actually began to really really like him not just like his rap minus his lyrics but yeah, I actually began to like Juhon, the person and stuff so after that, they came on stage to perform and I was really looking forward to this performance because I saw San E like bump into this and when he was bumping to it, I was bumping to it too and I'm like, okay, they're gonna go in I am ready for this and I was cooking and I stopped cooking I turned off the stove <laughs> and I'm like I'm gonna be back I need to watch this okay and I sat down and I paid like attention to this and <sighs> <laughs> they performed right and at first when they started I'm like okay this is good and then Juhon came and Juhon rapped and I'm like, oh, he went hard. And I'm like, okay, when's Gun come, gonna come? And then Gun came and. Came and I'm like, oh, Gun singing the chorus. And I'm like, oh, well, he's singing verses, okay. And then Juhan came and he rapped again. And it seemed like Gon was singing the chorus again. And then Juhan came and he rapped again. And then Gon. And I'm like, hold on. You know when you're so into something and you just start gradually pulling back, pulling back, pulling back? That was basically me. I was like, hold on. It seems like Juhan is the rapper here and is the main rapper, like. Gone. what the heck are you doing what the heck is going on okay how did you agree to this like <laughs> that was basically me like 
<laughs> and then when they were done performing, everyone was like, this was a really good performance, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I don't even remember how the performance was. All I remember is that Gon was a hype man and Johan was the main rapper. So what performance are you guys talking about? Did I miss something? Do I need to go watch this again? So I think I might go watch. I'm definitely gonna, I've been thinking about it. I'm gonna go watch their performance again because when the judges were talking it was like they were speaking an alien language and i'm looking at them like what are y'all saying did we watch the same thing and then finally the last judge i love what the last judge said he's like it seemed like because i didn't know how to phrase in words what i felt about it until the man spoke and he's like it seems like juhan is the main rapper and gone is just the hyper man and i'm like that's it this is exactly how I feel about this. This is it. So when Gon lost, I really couldn't feel bad for him because I'm like, you kind of brought this upon yourself. How how did this happen? Like, what the, what went wrong? But one thing that I really loved about the whole thing is how sad he actually complimented Gon when the other last guy was trying to kind of bring Gon down for being all too hyper and stuff and San Yi was like dude I actually do love how you're hype because that's how I am too and there's nothing wrong with it and another thing that I didn't like and I'm glad that so you like said hold up I need to correct you on this boo is Gon kept on putting himself down and putting Gon um Juhon on such high pedestal that he can never reach like he's a monster he's a monster and I'm like hold up you a monster too and i just love how so you was like dude hold up you've been saying something since he's a monster he's a monster i don't even think he's a monster and i'm like preach <laughs> I sincerely think you can be a monster like why don't you think like that it's like then she gave an example with herself and filming and all but like this is exactly what I've been saying I personally actually prefer going to Johan and I feel so bad and I'm praying that the next performance Johan really brings it for me because as a performer Johan kills it but like I said his first performance the lyrics didn't really touch me and in this performance the whole gun situation just kind of pulled me away from it so i couldn't really concentrate on what he was doing but at first he was actually killing it for me and i was like oh yes and then i started pulling back when i started noticing the whole gun situation sharp gun situation so um I'm really looking forward to his next um, um, performance and hopefully Juhan really like blows my mind because I see what San E said about him like being really good. I see the potential. I see what everyone sees in him. But I don't see it too. I don't know if anyone gets me. Like I see it but it's like he hasn't brought it for me. There's something San E said that I'm just like, yes, this is it. This is what exactly what I'm saying. San E was like, look here, there's something I noticed. Your rap is like Zico's rap. And you know they can't be two Eminems and they can't be two two packs. I'm like my clown where you at where you at you 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 need to show up boo this is where you're needed this is exactly when you need it <laughs> okay because that was to me it was kind of in the right shade okay what he was trying to say let me break it to you in how i understood it <laughs> let me break it to you how i understood what he was trying to say according to how i understood it was dude your rap is like every other rap that we have right now but guns rap is not like every other rap that we have right now so how do you distinguish yourself because gun is already distinguished <laughs> i've been watching too much the room i am beginning to act like tema okay <laughs> but yeah that was exactly how i interpreted it i'm like oh, bam like this is it the reason i think like why i am so had on Juhan is like San E said I see in him 
what I see in the rappers I love Zico and the rest of them like Yeko and the rest of them I see in in Johan what I see in them I haven't seen something that sets him apart that's why I was waiting for his lyrics like his crazy stage performance I've seen that before so I need something like concrete to really like hold me that's why I'm so happy I'm beginning to love him as an individual and stuff but as a rapper I'm still waiting for that thing that's gonna really he's gonna push his hand out there and it's gonna grab my hat and I'm it's not gonna let go of my hat and I'm just gonna be like boo this is my boo right here but for Gone, Gone already did that in his first performance, so Gone is already set apart. And that's why, like I said in the beginning, in, in my other review, when my clown was like, your rap is too old style, I'm like, so he, that's a good thing, because that's what's gonna make him a legend. If he's rapping like everyone's rapping today, then there's not gonna be a difference between him and other rappers. That is why Gone is the true legend. True <laughs> shape. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, I didn't mean that shade. It just kind of came out. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah. And then at the end of the day, after the whole performance and all, Juhan finally won the rap battle. I was just like, Ever, I don't think you really like Jerome, but I really do like him as a person. Okay, when they announced him as the winner, I felt the same way I felt with Kihil. I felt like they just chose Juhan as the best because they know already that he's a monster. And I'm like, that is not fair because in this performance, like, if he, even he being a monster and all couldn't hold my attention, then that's a bad thing. But Kwan Ji's performance with Yoon Ho actually held and grabbed my attention and I felt like Yoon Ho deserved that position and not Juhon. I'm sorry Juhon. I am really sorry like you my boo <laughs> and all. But I felt like they should have given it to Yoon Ho, not Juhon. Like Yoon Ho did a really good, 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 good job on this. His voice was smooth. Everything just really really cool and really chill and really good but for Juhon I just I don't know I just couldn't feel it I just wasn't feeling it but that is just me though let me know what you guys think who do you think should have won for the vocalist and for the rap Yoon Ho's rap I love how he was told to basically you know how I said in the other review I made that he he went all smooth kind of like Minho, Mino and I was expecting him to bring that and then he didn't bring that towards the end of his performance for the last review that I did the previous episodes but in this I love how he was advised to do just that and do that throughout and he'll be good and he did exactly that and that voice oh my goodness why are you trying to do anything else just stick to that that chill cool calming voice i don't even know how to explain it but it's like chill and badass kind of it's when i just think of that song i just picture like i showed y'all you know with his or just anyone with their hand in their pocket just basically being chill like i am the best i'm the baddest in the game and i'm just here to like spit a line or two so he really really did bring it and that's why i felt like he was Definitely better to me than Juhon this week. Y'all are gonna kill me for this. But I felt like he was better than Juhon. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Unpopular opinion. But yeah, I felt he was better than Juhon. And then next comes Wunho and Hyungwon. And they were, doing, were bringing sexy back. <laughs> I was like this for a good two minutes. Like, I couldn't believe it. It was like a dream. Like, what the heck is happening? 